What is going on everybody? CJ McFarlane here. So I just got back from a trip to Italy. I went with my wife and her family and right before we left, I actually got a massive package from Hyperware. So it's actually, it's a couple of packages and uh, I know what one of the items are. It's the Hyperware Hyper Rope, the elite version, but I don't know what the other ones are. So I'm excited to open those up and see what we got. And in this video, I will be giving you my first thoughts, my first impression of the Hyper Rope. So let's do it. I actually don't know why I do that. I'm just setting you all right here on the tripod. All right, getting everything set up. Now, do not mind me. I am already sweating. It is like 92 degrees here in Baton Rouge. So it's hot, all right? So I'm sweating, but don't worry. I'm still gonna do a proper warm up before I work out. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to open up is the hyper rope as that's what this video is really gonna be focused on. So I wanna go ahead and show you all that product. And I know it's hyper rope because it says right here on the box. So. All right, let's open this up. Be very careful. Now, I always talk about the packaging that the product comes in and the packaging was pretty good overall. Uh, I know some of these are, you can see in the video, they're pretty dented right here, but that, like this one was really heavy and actually says heavy on it. So I know that the guy, the FedEx driver who delivered them had a pretty tough time because it's a walk from the street to my front door. So I don't blame him. I get it. Nothing is like punctured or damaged so far. And yeah, looks good overall. So this right here is the hyper rope and man, this thing is so beautiful. So I'll give you a little bit of information on the hyper rope since that's what this video is mainly about. So this is essentially a creme de la creme of battle ropes. It is top notch, it's weighted, and one of the main factors is that it does not have to be anchored, which just absolutely blows my mind. So let's see, here it is. I don't really have any kind of blues in here. So this thing is going to pop and it just looks so clean. Now, I don't wanna go into too many of the details on the specs as I'm gonna do that later in the video once I go through my workout and everything. I just wanna show you all just simply how it looks. It's weighted. This one is the elite version, so it's 19 pounds. And there's just so much technology that goes into this rope that make it so much more superior than battle ropes. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here. And you can see how, wow, that's actually really cool. So like a lot of battle ropes, when, you, when they've been packaged like this, they almost like get stuck in that circular position. So it's really cool how I just took this out of the package and you know, it's been sitting in that package for a week and a half since before I left to Italy. So I just took it out and like it's ready to go. So that's really cool. Now, I don't know what these are. Let's open these up and then I'm going to get into my training session with the hyper rope. So they sent me a sand bell. Oh my God. The sand bell's 40 pounds. This is, I've worked with sand bells before, but oh my God, this thing is like massive. This thing is huge. So for those of y'all that don't know about sand bells, sand bells can be used very similar to like medicine balls. Like you could do slams, chest passes, things like that. But one of the things is that you have to work really hard when working with sand bells because when you throw them down to the ground, they just sit there on the floor. They don't bounce back up and they're not easy to pick up. 
because the sand that's inside of them shifts. And so you just basically overall have to, you know, recruit more muscle fibers as it's almost like a chaos training tool. All right, so that's a 40 pound one. That thing is massive. All right, uh, let's see what else. So, I thought that one was massive. Here is, uh, here's a 50 pound one. All right, so we got a 50 and a 40. And it's no wonder why these boxes are dented the way they are, because I can't even imagine. Like that's 50 pounds and they were stacked on top of each other when they came. So like the FedEx driver was carrying 90 pounds from the street all the way to my front door. So I apologize, it's late, but I apologize to that FedEx driver for him having to do that. Now on to the fourth box. Let's see, let's see. Okay, another sand bell. We got a whole set of sand belts in here. So this is 30 pounds. Not bad. I like how they have their color scheme on here too. Like every sand bell is a different color. So just uh, for identification purposes, so you know what you're working with. Now, last box. All right. So let me see. Got a little care and user guide for the sand bells. That's pretty cool. It's got some QR codes so you can check out like exercises and just basic, uh, I guess, videos on how to take care of the products. That's super cool. So we've got, <laughs> this is awesome. We've got a 20 pound sand bell. And then we also got another 20 pound sand bell. So just to recap, we've got 50, 40, 30, 20, and 20. And so I think, oh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh. This thing, this is awesome. So this is Hyperware's sandbag system. So basically, move that out of the way. All right. So what this is, is a sand bag, but instead of like a lot of other companies where you have like one massive bag where maybe you put the sand directly into here, the way that they created it was that you have the sand bells that you can use for just individual exercises or however you see fit, but you can also take these and put them in here to make just like a massive sand bag, which is, that's really cool. So the, the issues with a lot of, I don't want to get into too much of it, but I will tell you it's really cool because a lot of other companies, the sand just comes right out and it becomes a mess. The inside becomes a mess. And I've worked with sand bells previously and I know that they have this little stop in here. It's like a one way hole where you put the sand and it prevents the sand from leaking out. And these things are super durable. I cannot wait to use this. You know, you could do loaded carries or you could do cleans. You can do um, like a farmer's carry with it. It's super awesome. So like I said, I don't want to get into too much detail about these products as I'm gonna make a, a separate video and I wanna take my time really working with these products and being able to utilize them as much as I can to provide feedback on how you guys can implement them in your workouts. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these up and I'm going to get into my training session with the hyper rope. Bear with me. All right, so that took a second. I went in and threw away all the boxes so I can get them out of the garage. And then I rearranged some of my gym flooring. So basically what I have here, I've got my horse stall mats over there. And then right here, I have my rubber tiles that I use as like a deadlift platform. And all I did was I rearranged them a little bit so that way the hyper rope is constantly 
on the mats as I use it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit some mobility work and then I'm going to get into the hyper rope intervals that I have set up. And basically what I'm using the hyper rope for today is just to increase blood flow a little bit more before I get into my training session. That also helps to increase CNS activation as well. So I'll be a little bit more fired up, a little more awake and ready to crush my dynamic effort bench press session. Let's do it. training session and let me tell you that beginning portion where I was using the hybrid rope to warm up was super awesome. I was thinking as I was using it, it blows my mind that after all these years of us having access to battle ropes and training with battle ropes that it's taken so long for a company to come along and create a battle rope that didn't need to be anchored. And with hyperware doing so, it completely changes the game of you being able to take battle ropes to various locations and not having to worry about where to anchor the product down to. So to give you a brief background, prior to me getting into the team setting and training athletes, when I first got my personal training cert, I trained a lot of general population clients. So I was going to a lot of parks or businesses or apartment complexes and doing a little bit more of a boot camp structure where I was having like a circuit laid out. And one of the issues I always ran into was that I wanted to utilize battle ropes but the issue that I kept running into was that I never really knew what was going to be available to me when I would show up to those places. So I would always haul around a massive kettlebell. Now, if I wanted to use two or three battle ropes, now I got to bring two or three massive kettlebells to anchor those battle ropes down to. And it really became such a hassle for me just to implement this one tool into the training regimen. So it's really cool that a company like Hyperware would see that problem and create a product that would make it less of a hassle to use battle ropes in various places. Now to get into the specs, so this outer portion right here, all of this is 100% polyester. And that is extremely important because this is less likely to fray like all the other battle ropes will. So I've used several battle ropes before where after years of them being wrapped around a pole or something like that, they would start to fray and it would make a complete mess. So that's the number one thing that's really cool about this. The second is that this inner part behind this polyester is actually a metal weighted core. So it allows the rope to move freely and not necessarily be molded into one particular position. Kind of like what I was saying earlier when I took it out of the box and it just laid flat out. A lot of other battle ropes will be almost like molded into whichever position you leave it in for a long period of time. Now that metal core is also really important because that's what allows this to be weighted. So this right here is the elite version. This is 25 feet in length from end to end, right? If you were to just open this up, 25 feet and it weighs 19 pounds. Hyperware also offers a standard version which is 20 feet and 15 pounds. Now the length of these ropes are not like your other battle ropes. Your other battle ropes are gonna be you know, 40 to 45 feet in length. It's something ridiculous like that. That prevents you from being able to use it in a garage gym. So like at our old house, we had a one car garage and when I would hook up the battle rope for my wife, I would have to do it inside of the house because the one car garage was way too short to open up the battle rope completely. So this will allow you to use the battle rope within a very small space. Now, like I said previously, the hyper rope, don't get me wrong, it is a premium product. This isn't something that you buy just to sit on a shelf. This is something that you buy because you want to implement it in your program, whether it be for the conditioning aspect or just as another tool to throw into your warm up. Which brings me to the price. This elite version is $379. The standard version is $299. These ropes are also on Rogue, Torque, Amazon. So definitely I would check, you know, all of those websites as well as Hyperware just to see who has the best price and potentially offers free shipping. And that is my review of the Hyperware Hyper Rope Battle Rope. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down in the comments as I reply to every single comment that comes in. If not, then be sure to smash that like button and stay tuned as I will also be posting a review of the Sandbell Sandbag System.
I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay strong.